What is up guys? This is Sigler95 coming at you live with a brand new Pokemon Leaf Green update. Last time we made it through Mount Moon. And today we are heading into Cerulean City. Going to be taking on a bunch of trainers. Here's my team in case some of y'all haven't been following along. I recommend playing along with me. Uh, if you never played Fire Red or Leaf Green, it's an easy way to be able to play them. Anyways, here's a gr hidden Great Ball. I think this might be our first Great Ball that we've come across. Great Balls have a higher chance to catch Pokemon than Pokeballs. And then the next step is an Ultra Ball, which is even better than a Great Ball. Make sure you talk to these two guys. They'll teach you the moves Mega Punch and Mega Kick. Super good moves for this early on in the game. Two bros just in an epic stare down. Head over here. This is Route 4, by the way. It's after Mount Moon and in between Cerulean City. But TM for Roar, that's an interesting move. It's pretty strategic. It will automatically make the Pokemon run away. So if you're in a wild battle, the Pokemon will run away from you. The battle's over. If you're in a trainer battle, the Pokemon, the trainer will automatically switch out their Pokemon. So use it as you will. I don't really like using it. Wow, I found a Pokemon as soon as I jumped down. Be careful, make sure you have all the items before you jump down. Uh, you can't get back up without the TM for Dig to get through Diglett's Cave, so you want to hold off on that. I'm going to kind of speed this up here. You can find a new Pokemon here. If you're playing Fire Red, you can find the Pokemon Ekans, the snake Pokemon. Uh, if you're playing Leaf Green like I am, you can find Sandshrew. A ground type Pokemon. I think we saw it in Brock's gym. So if you're looking for a nice ground type Pokemon, that'd be a good pickup. But I'm not looking for Pokemon and I really need to heal. But you can also find Rattata, Sparrow, and Mankey in that grass. And around level like 10 to 12. But let's go ahead and head into Cerulean City. This is the second gym leader. Misty. Right here. But we're not going to be taking her on yet. I don't think we could take her. We need to train. But let's head into the Poke Center. There's a couple things to do here. Um, Team Rockets here involved. So we'll be dealing with them shortly. Um, there eventually you'll get your bicycle here, but you can't afford it yet. The guy wants like an outrageous million Pokey dollars, which is ridiculous. Like who who the who the heck has it? But it's right down here. Um. This lady's got a slow bro. It's pretty lit. Slowbo punch. No, it, you blew it again. <laughs> He's just sitting there trying to punch a tree. Well, maybe it's because you're telling him to punch a tree. You can now buy super potions at the mart. Those are pretty nice. Although not all your Pokemon will need super potions yet. A super potion heals 50 HP as opposed to a potion that does 20. So there's that. A couple new things. Pretty nice. Eventually when you get a fishing rod, you might want to come back here. You can find Pokemon like Horsey and Krabby. That just sounds like I'm saying Horse and Crab, but Horsey and Krabby. No, that's really Pokemon names. So there's a cop over there. You'll see that you can't go past over there until you fight Misty. So... We're just going to go ahead and move on. Now, make sure your Pokemon are healed up before you walk in further north. See, look, we can't go past here. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force have trouble with rockets. Too bad the Houston Rockets suck. Anyways, anyways, this ain't an NBA roast. Let's go ahead and engage. Who could possibly want to fight us? It's Bovid. Yo, Sig95, you're still struggling back here? I'm doing great. Let's see what you've caught. Now, I'm about to wipe the floor with this dude, okay? He just comes up out of nowhere. He's just talking smack. He's only got four Pokemon. He's like, oh, I have so many strong Pokemon. And it's level 17. Whew. That's pretty high level. But I'm going to... Thunder Wave. I am severely underleveled. That is a that is a common theme 
throughout this, uh... I don't even know what to do. I really need to use... I'm gonna sacrifice Wavy Davy. Dave, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, he died like a true hero. Although that didn't really get me anything. I needed to heal. We're going boss tweed. We're going boss tweed. Look how close he is to level. Oh, wrong, wrong button. So I can't poison it since it's already paralyzed. They only can have one like status condition at a time. I am severely underleveled. That's probably why these videos are taking so long. Because <laughs> every fight I'm having to like, ink out and strategize. Honestly, it's more fun for me, but it's probably less fun to watch. But I'll be catching up pretty soon. Don't, don't any y'all worry. Let's see, what else is going on? March of Madness again. I think it's like the final four. You know, it was super disappointing. I, at one point, for like a solid like three days, I was in like the top three in my bracket, which means I would have won money. Or at least gotten my money back. Super hype, and I thought I'd made all the right decisions, and then OSU lost, and a bunch of other things happened, and I am now like... 23rd <laughs> and have no chance to make any of my money back so he's gonna set out his charmander which somehow is not evolved yet imagine not evolving with charmander if it does no ember a fire type move golly dude they are just ripping me apart This is not good. Yeah, so this is kind of a tough fight. I uh, would make sure you're prepared. I'm probably sacrificing my Tom Cruise here, which may not have been the right move. But I don't have a lot of options here. If I can survive this hit, that'd be great. Oh my gosh, and I'm burned. Well, burn's bad because it... it Injures you every turn, similar to poison, but also it lowers your attack. So Mega Punch is probably out of the question. I don't, definitely don't have a burn heal, so I can't just keep healing Cardi up because it's not worth it. So I'm going to have to sacrifice my Cardi here. And I already sacrificed my Tom Cruise like an idiot, but I have a revive. Now I'm going to use it. Because this is a tough battle. Down goes Cardi. Cardi! I'm gonna have to go for the strategy again, even though he has Ember and he's gonna be doing a shit ton, or uh, a lot of damage to me. Uh, I'm just hoping I can heal enough back and get him down in time. Nope, probably not. I believe in boss tweed. Got the paralyze. I think there's a 25% chance of the opponent not moving when they're paralyzed. Or something like that. Alright, I got this, I got this. <gasps> I think I got it. Yeah! Bows Tweed just siphoning away the health for the win. Not unlike Boss Tweed siphoning all the resources away from people back in the day. <laughs> it's so funny that I even learned about a guy named Boss Tweed in school. Like, what was the purpose? Like, what did, what did I gain from learning about a gangster in New York City from the 1920s. Oh, before that. I think in the 1800s. Late 1800s. 
So he's got an Abra, but it can't do anything, so it's just going to sit there and teleport, but that doesn't do anything in a trainer battle. But watch out, eventually he'll evolve that thing, and it will have a ton of damage. Kadabra and Alakazam have some of the highest special attack, and they're pretty quick too, so they're quite dangerous. See if Pbev can take out this Rattata, probably not. He's uh, could probably going to be high level. High level 50. I think I could probably take it. Or I'll die in one hit. Holy cow, this battle has been a wake-up call. <laughs> What the heck? Why does that do so much dang damage? I know Bieber, Biber, or whatever can take a few hits. The Mega Kick's a stronger move, but it only has five power points, so watch out for that. But he's going to try to lower my defense so that he can try to knock me out in one or two hits. Not today! No, sir! I think that might- that battle right there, which is a pretty difficult one, I think that might be what inspired Nintendo to add- I keep unplugging my headphones. Sorry. I think it's what inspired them to add the two karate guys that teach you Mega Punch and Mega Kick right there, because it's such a hard fight right there. Like, his Pokemon are so higher leveled, and, like, you don't have any good moves. So, that was still a tough fight. I had to use strategy, and I'm not just, like, rolling through these guys. But, uh... He'll tell you about the Pokemaniac Bill, who you need to go talk to. He's the guy who made all the, uh... Made all the Pokemon boxes and stuff like that. So we need to go talk to him. He also gives you a fame checker, which... And then he calls you a chatty gossip. Like, have you ever called someone... Oh, you're such a chatty gossip. Like, this guy is basic. He's like, I don't give a hoot about others. Smell you later. But I don't really even know what that item does. Uh, let's see. It uh, You recall what you've heard and seen about famous people. Okay. Not sure why, what, what what good that is, but uh, go ahead and heal up real quick, and then we will continue on Nugget Bridge. And guys, this might be the latest we've ever gone into the video without talking about our drink of the day. This is the Simpsons Flaming Mo Energy Drink. Fire made it better. I uh, have no idea what this is gonna be like. It's got Matt Groening's name on the bottom. I don't know who that is. Uh, we're looking at 160 cals, 160 milligrams of sodium, 41 carbs, uh, 67 milligrams of potassium, some niacin, and all the vitamins. Let's try it out. The Flaming Mo drink. It's red. We're looking at a red drink. Ooh, ooh. Kind of sour. Good though, I guess. So this is Nugget Bridge. Oh, by the way, guys, thanks so much for joining me. You know, I love making these videos. I love playing Pokemon, but it makes me even happier to have guys or girls, anyone, anyone watching my videos like comment subscribe if you comment I might catch pokemon and name it after you but anyway we're here at nugget bridge this bridge has like six or seven trainers on it and they each get incrementally harder you think it'd be nice to be able to do this before fighting your rival but nope because his pokemon are like level 17 level 15 and then you go right into this first fight and the guy's like level 10 so it seems a little bit out of order, but what can you do? So I'm going to be trying to train up Cardi. 
but not too much. He's going to be getting a lot of experience in Misty's Gym, which is a water type gym. So it's going to be weak to Grass and Electric. So I am at an advantage with having Ivysaur and Cardi. Ivysaur and Pikachu. He's going to keep slowing me. Whatever, man. Tell me how that strategy works out. Level 13. Got terrible stat gain. That's really disappointing. Go ahead and switch out. Get some quick trainer battles in before we end this video. So he's got Caterpie, Weedle, and then, then, then and then the two evolved forms, Kakuna and Metapod. Crush him with a fire type or a flying type. Should be in and out of there, no problem. Easy XP. And it's some easy money. Alright. I can't remember what this chick has. But for some reason I feel like it's a... Uh, I feel like it's a normal type. And that's not just because she's a girl. Or maybe it's a Nidoran. Oh yes, she has Pidgey. Let's see how much a Mega Kick does. Ah, there's the uh, cute charm. So now the opponent has... Oh, I missed. Now the opponent has like a 50% chance to not attack me. It's a pretty, pretty dang good, uh... Pretty good ability. Nice. And Mega Kick gets an extra bonus because I'm a normal type and it's a normal type move. So Jigglypuff has... A very very strong physical attack right now I'm pretty sure it's like with the same type of tap bonus and the, the base power is something like 140 or like 150 which is insane problem is it doesn't have very good attack Onish is a grass gr uh, poison, just like, just like Ivysaur. You know, I always thought that there should be more grass ground types. Because if you think about it, they're like a plant and they're growing in the ground. Like you think they'd have ground capabilities, you know? Like, I guess that would be a pretty OP power combination. Excuse me. Let's see, what would it even be weak to? Flying. Is flying it? Maybe bug? I don't know if that works like that. Sure, why not? Let's keep Bieber up. Keep the ball rolling. We are flying through these trainers. This is pretty good. This is one of my... More favorite ones. Doesn't really, it's not hot or spicy. I'm not sure why it's like called flaming. They're made with fire. So. There's Sand Shrew. Level 14. And I missed. Sand Shrew's a pretty defensive Pokemon. It evolves into Sand Slash, which it gains offensive power when it evolves, but initially Sand Shrew is pretty weak offensively. About to send out an Ekans. 
And pretty early on, you won't have ground types. You won't really have psychic types. So you might have a Sandshrew, but he won't really have a ground type attack. So there's not too much super effective moves against Ekans, Coughing, Grimer, those kind of guys. My cat's coming to say hello. Oh man. It's gonna be a close one, dang. I don't wanna miss though. There we go. Ow, stomped flat. That's right, kid. You can't take me on. You're just a punk. So punk that guy. Pokemon are kind of taking a beating. I'm thinking about doing sometime in the future. Maybe even like when I get to the Safari Zone. But I'm thinking about streaming on Twitch. Problem is, is like if I stream on Twitch, like I can't do anything to progress the game, if you know what I mean, because you know I don't want my YouTube people to miss out, people have fallen through the walkthrough. So I, I only can do like side missions and stuff like that. So I'm thinking about doing like maybe the Safari Zone, or just doing like a Twitch for a couple hours, like catching every Pokemon I can. I always play cool music, well, what I think is cool, <laughs> uh, when I stream, so that'd be fun. I'll definitely keep you guys updated if I do something like that. So that was the male Nidoran. I'm not sure if we've seen one of those, we've definitely seen the female. Now she's sending out the female. Try putting it to sleep. Of course it missed. Um, try one more time. I think Nidorans are supposed to be based off like rabbits. Poisonous rabbits. Yeah, I find myself using status conditions and, you know, a lot more strategy in this playthrough. It's probably because I'm underleveled, but not typically how I play. I normally just, like, plow through and grind, and then I'm just overleveled, and so I'm steamrolling everything. This is probably more how the game was meant to be. Oh my god, don't kill me. Maybe I'm just a bad Pokemon trainer. Maybe I have just lost my skill, lost my touch. That's probably it. I'm probably just, I'm probably just washed up. I'm sorry, Cardi, I let you die. We did it, folks. All for very little XP. Jeez. It was not worth it. Alright, I think there's two more trainers. I'm gonna have to call it here, folks. 
I've been going on a little too long. Next time, we're going to be taking out the rest of Nugget Bridge, going through the rest of this route, maybe catching a few pokes, talking to Bill. What else could we do? Might even take on some Misty's Gym Trainers. This has been Sigla95. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, be sure to comment, too. I'm going to be... Anytime I catch Pokemon, I'm going to be looking through the comments, maybe naming them after someone. Although it might be kind of hard if I can't tell who you are on YouTube with that name. But it doesn't matter. I just want to say thanks for watching. I will see you all next time. Stay frosty.